Hey guys, Dr. Ryan Hewitt here from Amplified Athlete and Merrimack Valley Wellness Center. Um, today we're going to talk about hip health. Now there are very few things that will hinder your athletic performance like having poor hip mobility. Uh, also having poor hip uh, movement also is a major culprit for a lot of people that struggle with back pain. Um, so what we're going to do today very quickly, we're going to assess our internal and external rotation of our hips, right? So just sitting here with um, you know 90 degree position of the hip, what we're going to do is just externally rotate the hip, check to see if you have at least 40 degrees. You want to have 40 to 60 degrees of that uh, external rotation, and we'll check internal rotation. We should have about 30 to 40 degrees. And of course, you want to check both sides here. Okay, if you feel locked up or restricted positions, that likely means that you have some adhesions in the hip, some mobility challenges. So let's talk about releases for external rotation of the hip. So uh, external rotators of the hip, the most famous being the piriformis. You actually got a bunch of them in there. Uh, piriformis, gemella superior, uh, inferior, obturator internus, externus, and quadratus lumborum. Whole series of those right along basically your, the outskirts of your femur head right in that butt area. So what we're going to do so we're going to take either our Mobility ball, I got a level one here, or you can also use a lacrosse ball. And what we're going to do first is we're going to get in sort of the glute region here, all right? So I have my left leg pinned on the ground here. Um, I'm in a solid position, my core activated here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw my right leg on top of my left leg, digging that Mobility ball on my glute, and that's pretty tender for me. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to move around a little bit just to sort of secure some of that tissue position. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to internal, internally and externally rotate my hip. I'm going to do this for about 15 or 20 seconds, you know, five or six reps. Okay, and what I'm going to do is move a little more laterally. Okay, now I'm going to get over to more of the glute medius area there um, into some of the more of the external rotators as well. And I'm going to go same position here, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do more of a clamshell. I'm going to do five or six reps like this. Okay, and we're going to get into some of the abductors of the hip now. We're going to get over just a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is apply a little bit of hip flexion here. So again, feet planted in the floor, lat activated, core activated. I'm just going to do a little flexion extension of the hip here. Okay, and lastly, we're going to get into some of the fibers of the TFL over on some of those abductors, more in the glute medius. Okay, now we're going to keep this planted here. We're going to go, instead of on the elbow, all the way down on the ground, and we're going to activate abduction like this. And you can play around, move a little more laterally, really find those tender areas. Spend about 15 or 20 seconds on there. Okay, like that. So a lot of those are the external rotators of the hip. We also hit a couple of the internal rotators. You actually have some internal rotators, uh, rotating fibers in your glute medius and maximus. But some of the other internal rotators are also in this groin area, okay? Into this, uh, basically your AD, AED ductors. So gracilis, adductor magnus, and those muscles there. So to get those, those are a little more difficult we're going to do is we're going to do this here. We're going to put the acumobility mobility ball on top of a yoga block. What we're going to do is we're going to get into those fibers of the inner thigh like this. And I'm going to take another acumobility mobility ball or a lacrosse ball in this case. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flex and extend my leg, sort of pin and stretch some of those fibers. Again, I'm active on my shoulder, lat activated, core activated. We're going to spend a few seconds there and we're going to go all the way up the inner thigh. You should be able to find some tender fibers in there if you do have a lot of restriction and spasm in some of those muscles that are internally rotating the femur. And okay, we're going to go all the way up here. There it is. Now, now that we've turned on and stretched and activated some of those fibers and then we had to integrate into some movement. I'll show you my favorite movements to help make these more of a permanent change that you're delivering to the hips. Uh, very simply, once again, air squats. Okay, 
Everybody knows how to do those correctly by now. Okay, nice tripod position, planted to the ground. Knees over your toes, torso up, squatting all the way down, squeezing the butt at the top, really activating the glutes, the hips, the inner thighs, the quads. Okay, you do about 15 of those. I love reverse lunges as well. Nice upright, stable position, tight core, driving from that back leg up. Okay, so we're gonna go to the right side and the left side. And we're gonna do about 10 each leg like that. And if you've got a little band here, like a hip circle, what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw that around the knees in an athletic position here. And we're gonna simply do our lateral movement like this, banded lateral movements. Really get those hips and those glutes fired up, squeezing. Okay, and I would suggest doing you know, 10 per side like that, maybe do two or three rounds, and watch those hips start to get lubed up and help you out. So, thanks for watching.